bill becomes a law like this. It starts in the House, then moves to the Senate. If no changes are made, it then goes back to the House for a final vote, then goes to the governor for her signature. But this one, Senate Bill 897, is different because it does not have to do with tax dollars or the budget. It can start in either chamber. This bill was introduced on June 23rd, just a week after Senator Clemente Pinckney and eight others were shot and killed at Emanuel AME Church in Charleston. And the day after, Governor Haley asked that the Confederate flag be taken down. It was sponsored by 28 senators from both sides of the aisle. However, the legislative session was over. It ended on the first Thursday in June. Technically, no new bills are introduced, but the end of session procedure was amended in order for this bill to bring down the Confederate flag to be taken up this week. The same week, lawmakers are in session to take up the governor's vetoes. Now that Senate Bill 897 has passed the Senate with a final vote of 36 to 3, this bill is now in the House. If it passes three times there, it becomes law with the final approval by the governor.